All right, well, we count on our jails to keep our community safe, but what really happens when they fill up? Yeah, many jails in our area are facing that exact problem, and it's only expected to get worse. That's why a committee in Blunt County is now searching for a solution here to make sure more roommates, uh, there is more room for the inmates and keep them from coming back. Now, in our On Your Side investigation here, reporter Blake Stevens learning about the feasibility study and the possible solutions inside. That's the jail behind me. And while it may not look crowded out here, I've learned there are nearly 250 more inmates inside than it was designed to hold. A county commissioner I spoke to today tells me something needs to change. With an overcrowded jail in town, a committee called the Corrections Justice Initiative searching for ways to keep people out of jail. County Commissioner Tom Stennett is for the idea. When I took office four years ago, I, I thought that people that had a drug problem uh, could uh, turn it on and off like a switch. And since I've been in office and spent some time some education that the state's provided to us, I understand that they're sick and putting them in jail is not going to solve our problems. He's in favor of the committee's idea of building a transitional center equipped with programs aimed at helping people with drug treatment. A feasibility study also pointing to renovating and expanding the current jail. This year, their average daily population is 536 inmates. In 10 years, it's projected to be 691. We don't try to help these people and provide care for them. We're going to continue down the same path we've been doing for the last since the beginning. Just to recap, that committee exploring three things, renovating this jail, expanding it so that it could keep up with the expected growth in the jail population, and also building a transition center for inmates who may need help with things like substance abuse. But it's important to remember these are just suggestions. Nothing has been voted on yet. In Blount County, Tennessee, Blake Stevens, WATE, 6 on your side. All right, if you'd like to chime in or hear more about the current state of the jail, the Blunt County Mayor is actually holding a community meeting. That will be Monday at 530 at the Blunt County Library. And of course, we'll be sure to keep you up to date on this issue.